गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज क्रायोथेरेपी सो माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर लोकेश शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर महात्मा गांधी फिजियोथेरेपी कॉलेज सो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट क्रायोथेरेपी सो वट इज क्रायोथेरेपी क्रायोथेरेपी और आइस थेरेपी इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कोल्ड टू द बॉडी टिश्यूज आफ्टर इंजरी सो आइस का यूज कब करते हैं स्पेशली आफ्टर एनी इंजरी टू और बॉडी लोकल कोल्ड एप्लीकेशन मे बी अप्लाइड बाई द यूज ऑफ वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ आइस और फ्रोजन जेल्स पैक और बाई इवेपोरेशन ऑफ वोलेटाइल फ्लूड फ्रॉम द स्किन ऑफ एन स्किन टेम्परेचर इज रिड्यूस टू टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड तो आफ्टर अप्लाइंग द आइस द स्किन टेम्परेचर इज रिड्यूस टू टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड so what are the physiological effects of ice first is circulatory response the initial skin reaction to cooling is an attempt to preserve heat it is accomplished by an initial vasoconstriction so immediately when we apply the ice what happens the our vascular supply is undergo vasoconstriction this hematostatic response has the effect of cooling of the body part why it is going vaso constriction because of cooling effect to the body parts after a short period of time the duration depends on the area involved a vaso dilatation follows with alternating periods of constriction and dilatation so what happens once uh, our vessels will go under vaso constriction then vaso dilatation this reaction of hunting for a mean point of circulation is called lewis hunting reaction so what is lewis hunting reaction the vessels will undergo vaso constriction then vaso dilatation then again we will apply ice then it will go vaso constriction vaso dilatation so this procedure vaso constriction and vaso dilatation is known as lewis hunting reaction during the vaso dilatation the arterio venous anastomosis is closed thus causing an increase blood flow through the capillaries this is beneficial in the treatment of swelling and tissue damage so this is helpful in tissue damage and swelling so what happen there will be brushing of uh, arteries then if we apply ice then that brushing uh, uh, is leading to droplet of bleeding and all and it is leading to swelling so this will be reduced thus ice therapy is very useful in removing swelling and accelerating tissue repair so what ice does it does reduce swelling and accelerate the tissue repair that is ice cube massage may be used to accelerate the rate of repair of pressure sores the reduced metabolic rate of cold tissue allows cold muscle to contact many more times before fatigue so metabolic rate is reduced so the fatigability of the muscle is also reduced so muscle can work for the longer time then neural response the skin contains primary thermal receptors cold receptors are several times more numerous than warm receptors so cold receptors are more than warm receptors the cold receptors respond to cooling by a sustained discharge of impulses the rate of which increases with further cooling the rate of conduction of nerve fiber in a mixed peripheral now mixed peripheral now motor and sensory is reduced by the cooling the the first fiber affected by the gradual cooling are the a fibers that is myelinated and eventually at very low temperatures the b and c fiber those are non myelinated are affected so myelinated fibers affected more than non myelinated fibers in practice motor nerve paralysis is never produced by ice so ice se motor nerve paralysis is not produced then excitatory cold mechanism when cold is applied in an appropriate way on the skin ice can be used to increase the excitatory bias around the anterior horn cell 
combined with other forms of excitation that is brushing tapping and with the patient's volitation this can often produce contraction of an inhibited muscle this effect can be used when muscle are inhibited post operatively or in later stage of recognition of a mixed peripheral now then use of ice therapy reduces pain so ice therapy is also used for reduce pain it reduces spasticity then it reduces muscle spasm ice can also reduce swelling it promote repair of the damaged tissues provide excitatory stimulus to inhibited muscles then reduction of pain pain reduction is one of the major effect of ice application which has been used for many years so basically after any injury what we used to do we used to apply ice first part as a treatment why because it helps in reducing pain the probably me probable mechanism is that by the stimulation of the cold receptors impulses will be sent back which will pass into the posterior root of the spinal cord these impulses arriving through large diameter nerves effectively block out any other pain impulses attempting to assess the spinal cord so by the help of pain gate theory it reduces the pain this reduces the pain temporary for permanent pain relief positive physiotherapy strengthening mobilization has to be given during this period of transient pain relief then reduction of spasticity so first what is spasticity spasticity is increased tone of the muscle due to the upper motor neuron lesion spasticity is the pathological state of increased muscle tone resulting from damage to the upper motor neurons the small anterior horn cell from the higher control of extra pyramidal system and fires spontaneously at an increased rate the net result of this is ultimately to increase tone in the extrafusal muscle fibers when the hypertonic spastic state appears then what is spasm spasm is a normal response to injury or pain and is manifested as an increase in muscle tone in a specific area with the apparent aim of limiting movement and further damage however the amount of spasm is often exceeding and the sustained contraction of muscle will in turn start to produce pain often resulting then in more spasm the mechanism by which cold reduce spasticity and spasm are probably to kon kon se jo mechanism hai jisse ki spasticity and uh, spasm are reduced the reduced velocity of nerve conduction so whenever we are applying the ice the nerve conduction velocity of the nerve is reduced the depressed sensitivity of receptors such as muscle spindles so while because of application of ice the sensitivity of muscle, muscle spindles are reduced these structures are fairly deep and it would take several minutes to produce a sufficient low temperature to affect them as it was clinically demonstrated that the reduction of spasm and spasticity occurs within 30 second of the ice applications the reaction to cooling can only be at the sufficient tissues at the skin the skin stimulus produced by cold must have an effect on the general level of excitation and inhibition in the region of the anterior horn cell once spasm and spasticity have been reduced more long time treatment is given in order to sustain the conditions in the case of spasm active movement are used to break down the vicious cycle of pain spasm more pain more spasm 
so once pain is reduced and movement is produced then spasm is also reduced with spasticity the technique will depend upon the preference of the physical therapist then techniques of the application so what are the techniques of ice application that is or we can say cryotherapy ice towel ice pack immersion ice cube massage excitatory cold that is quick icing ice spray and cold gel then contraindications so what are the contraindications of cryotherapy cardiac condition psychological peripheral nerve injuries vessel spastic disease peripheral vascular disease and cold sensitivity so thank you very much